so excited about this new show. Kristen, we have to ask, which has more drama, Pump Rules, The Valley, or The Goat? The Valley. <laughs> I think The Valley. The Goat has some drums, but it, it The Goat was more fun, for sure. A different type of drama, I would say. Um, I also have to say The Valley is so good, but how has it been being the center of all the drama on that show? Oh, gosh, like, I need a break, you know? <laughs> already it's been years since I've been back on reality tv and like I just wanted to be like the low key the chill but that's just me you know <laughs> totally Off to the races now Reza it was a bummer to see that you were murdered on season one of the traders we never <laughs> really got to see you play did that light a fire under you for the goat totally I wanted to come back and have some redemption and let me just say how proud I am of Kristen for her new show and giving other Bravo labs whose shows are no longer on the air, like hope, like we look at Kristen and think like, good for you, girl. And kudos to the success of the Valley. It's an amazing show. I'm so happy for her. And Reza, as we know, made for this. So <laughs> I have no doubt. But like, can you believe like how amazing it makes like the Bravo family so happy to see one of our own come up again? Oh. Totally. And I'm, I've been a fan of both of you since the first seasons of both of your shows. So I love seeing you back on TV and, you know, any kind of iteration of Reza and Kristen, I'm here to support. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Same. <laughs> now, Reza, your Shaws of Sunset co-star MJ, she was also on Traders season two and she nearly won. What was it like to watch her experience? I mean, thank God her experience was completely different than mine. And I was so proud of her. And I felt so gypped that she didn't get the money, but I like, I'm in awe of her experience and I'm so proud of her. Kristen, I have to ask, cause we recently spoke with Lisa and she thinks that Brittany should not take Jax back. What do you think about that? I don't think Lisa's opinion really means very much. She's not in Jackson Brittany's lives. I mean, I have my own opinion about how I feel about Jackson Brittany and their relationship, but I you know, not to be a hater, I just think someone who's not in the circle doesn't really get to judge based on mm. knowledge she had from 10 years ago. Well, what do you think? Do you think that that chapter is closed? Do you think maybe she should be open to working things out? I think that, so on Watch What Happens Live with Andy, I did say, I don't think they're going to get back together. And I think that my opinion varies as they're going through it, you know, their relationship on their own. I think I just trust Brittany to make the best decision for Brittany and for Brittany and Cruz. I don't think it's necessarily hopeless yet at this point. Um, I have a little bit of hope, but it really is. This is all on Jax to make it better. And if he's not going to, then he's going to lose his wife. And then jumping back to the goat, when you first saw this cast, was there anyone that you were both a big fan of from their original show or anyone that you were intimidated by? So I will say, right, as you can see on the GOAT, but, like, I had no idea anything about competition shows. I didn't know. I was hoping I would know who people were because I don't watch all reality TV shows. So the second I saw Reza and Jill Zarin, it was like my heart exploded. I felt like I was at home. I felt safe and protected, <laughs> at least in the beginning. Um, but for me, it was Lauren Speed Hamilton. I fell in love with her on on her show like season one of love is blind and heck i'm like an old school real world real world girl so that was like i've fangirled i freaked out and what about you reza i mean kristen and i shot promo like seasons for shots of sunset and vanderpump rules yeah. in the same building at the same time so seeing her and jill in the house gave me a sense of security having bravo family there but to Kristen's point, Lauren Speed Hamilton and Joey Sasso, because I'm a huge Netflix fan and I'm such a fan of their shows and tech. Also, I loved real world. It was just such a nice combination of different genres of reality TV under one roof. And I realized how similar Kristen and I are. We're so similar. And whatever it was that I was feeling, I was feeling about myself because we behave the same way. She was a mirror for me. And I feel such a camaraderie with her because we're so similar in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Now, 
obviously this is a competition show competing for $200,000. Was there any type of Bravo alliance formed? Was there any backstabbing? Both. D, all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. All of the above. The girls were locked and loaded in a way that was unbreakable. And the men were always like, we were always like trying to catch up to the women. So I feel like they had set a precedent that was hard to compete with. They were just performing like on this level that was very high. And when you come from a competition show background and you're in a house with people from a docu-series, I learned the competition show people take it as a job to win that money. And we're like trying to have fun and build relationships. <laughs> yes. And we're I'm treating it like Shaw's. She's like, this is the valley. <laughs> and we're like doing our thing. But the people from competition show backgrounds are so strategic and locked in from the gates. Yes. Yeah. And rewatching now that I've we're, we've been able to watch you know this many episodes of the go, I'm now going, oh you liar, you liar, oh my gosh, what they had an alliance in the beginning. I was so blind to this the strategies that the just to go off what totally. said, but the strategies that the competition series cast members had. There there was a moment that Kristen was having, and in my head and in my heart, I knew who was the cause of the moment and I wanted to tell her but it would have backfired anyway because they were such a unit mm -hmm. that Kristen wouldn't have believed what I was saying because other competitors were holding it up so high it was so interesting to learn and watch it back a lot of things I think I would have done differently now if I would if I'm ever on a competition show again I would do things very differently I think well, they're very different vibes from being on the type of shows that you were on before to a competition show. So I feel like it's like a totally a whole new world for you both. Um, I do have to ask, though, I recently spoke with Tom Schwartz and he says he's a big fan of the Valley um, and he's been watching. Uh, he also has a new relationship in his life. What what did, have you met her yet or what is your reaction to that? Yeah, I have just once. I've seen her in passing. I'm, I don't know her very well, but I do have some mutual friends with Sophia um, I just like that Tom is happy. Mm -hmm. Like he seems really happy right now. He said, girlfriend with a hard G. They said, I love you on Nick Vile's podcast. And he just seems very relaxed dating her. So that's all I want for Tom. What, you know, whether it lasts, whether it's like a longevity of their relationship or not, I don't think it matters right now if they're both having a good time.